Hi, my name is Lucky Bastard. Welcome to my channel. Today I will look at two puzzle games of the same designer, Rita Orlov. But you can watch them in two separate videos, one of which you are watching right now, of course. I will go to the general principle of the game. I will review them without spoilers and then I will show you some components. Just like a tease, I will not solve the puzzle or anything. In Emerald Flame you start off with this booklet of rules. And you, what you probably want to do is scan this code because then you get to the hint system and that's very easily set up because you can just uh, click the part, the envelope you are uh, opening and then all the sub parts of that envelope are uh, named. So you just have to click and then you get a hint if you want to, to start with. If you don't know where to start, you just get that is particularly interesting or that is, it looks a bit strange. And then you have then you have something to start with and each time you get stuck you can just get uh, ask for another hint for some puzzle but the basic principle of this one is that there are three envelopes each one is an other month and they are connected with a certain story well i can't show you this i'm not spoiling anything you get a, a letter of the Cochet society in which they like you to investigate the stuff they have found. I will not go too into details. Basically what you're trying to do is find the lab of an ancient alchemist that has found some kind of emerald flame probably, some kind of secret potion. So each month you get a letter three for three months and then you have an epilogue and concluding letter in which you get another uh, puzzle that includes the box and I don't like that. I will tell you from the start that was the worst puzzle it's not a representative of the puzzles inside the box. More than Adrift, this one uses the, uh, another website that you can visit, the Cochet Society website. And there you can communicate with your partner, which might become interesting a little bit more down the road. But in the first place, you want to give your answers and he or she, I don't remember, I think it's a he, he will tell you if it's correct. The, scope of the puzzles and the complexity of the puzzles in Emerald Flame are bigger. It is without a doubt the longer one of the two. So you have to spend more time with this one, which might sound like a positive thing or a negative thing depending on your situation. This one is more accessible to play with more than two players I would say because there, when, once you open an envelope and I will do that in the spoiler zone, you get a lot of stuff and you don't know where to start and Everyone will pick something different to start with and, and you, you can start searching and sometimes you get stuck and then you can pass it to another player. But the advantage is you don't have to look all at the same page and yeah, maybe with the letters, there are some letters in every envelope. You have to read them out loud, I guess. But more interesting than the letters are of course the components and they are very unique. They are quality components that you don't usually get in an escape room game. They feel all very personal, handwritten, handmade objects and that gives a certain touch to this box that I appreciate. I'm not so much of a big fan of the story that is going on between the two uh, people that are uh, writing letters to each other. I personally felt they were a little bit in the way of progress for me because I was not very into that and also because the calligraphy was a little bit unclear here and there I was not able to read each letter effortlessly so it, it got a little bit in the way for me personally. So in conclusion I like the Emerald Flame a little bit more than Adrift because the lack of uh, constant revolving around the, the poems, the words were a little bit less important but when it got to the words with the letters that uh, were handwritten yeah then I, I liked it less but the puzzles were for some reason more interesting to me and it was very noticeable that once we solved a few of them the others got more you, you, you kind of understood the logic behind it so they were they, be, they, they became more easy to solve in general I think there was a lot of pattern recognition involved in it, but there were some out of the box thinking puzzles as well. And always the objects that uh, were in the Emerald Frame were very intriguing. It usually took a while before you knew what I'm supposed to do with this. So let's take a look at the components and after that I will say goodbye to you. 
Let's open an envelope from the Emerald Flame. Do you want January? That's the one you will encounter first. Maybe we'll, we'll go for that. The biggest one is March for certain, so there the biggest components are in that one. So you have always like this something, something from the Cochet Society. You usually have also a letter written by Marquetta, directed to Hannah. And yeah, usually you get something out of that, but what, that's not uh, certain. And then in this case you have some plants, pictures, or drawings actually. Same for some crystals and the same for some caterpillars. You have a drawing of some kind of map and you have a drawing of a clock. And then you have the special components, let's say. You have a booklet and a booklet, it looks very professional, it's like a plant companion. So you have on each page two different plants. I don't even know if they all exist. This seems like a, a lemon, so th that one uh, is for real. Probably the other ones as well then, but I'm not completely sure. And what else do you have? You have these plastic components. I don't know if you can see them very well. There are three of them. And yeah, they have some teeth on the edges. So maybe you know what to do with this. I didn't. <laughs> it took me a while. And also we have some three translucent plates with butterflies on them and letters and then you have some kind of necklace so that's all in one envelope and in other envelopes there are more components like this so I would say you're paying a big price but you get components that are worth that money if it's worth the one-time experience that you have with it but it might be 10 hours maybe that you take out of it depending on how fast you're going to the, the puzzles and how uh, how keen you are on using the hint system. I think it's worth it. I don't mind paying like 8 euros for uh, every hour that I'm having fun with this or frustration sometimes also but I think you shouldn't hesitate for using the hint system and then the frustration will be reduced to a minimum. So that's that. Thank you for watching this video. Usually I do my videos in Dutch, however, but because there was no video available from this, uh, from Adrift in the main, in the first place, and there was little available about the Emerald Flame, I did. I thought I can better do this in English as well. But despite that, I would appreciate it a lot if you would subscribe or like this video. Bye.